Okay, this one is a uh, an OC76 version. You can see there the, uh, the transistor sitting proudly. Uh, fear resistors, a uh, Rodestein um, caps. There's another couple of fear resistors tucked away underneath there. Um, obviously, this isn't soldered in yet. I'm just selecting the right transistor for it. Um, as with all of them, we've got a bypass switch. Um, and this one's got mustard caps for the uh, for the input capacitors, and then a little wimmer um, for the uh, for the top input. So there you go. Excuse the plane. I'm a bit off the boil today, as you've probably heard with, uh, with some of my earlier earlier efforts. Um, but uh, like pooey fingers. So I've only got. Uh, it's only those two that work properly on that, and the uh, the other two are uh, intermittent at best. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. So the amp's not doing anything. Um, as always, it's just almost constantly on sort of seven and a half, eight. Um, Treble is part way up, um, it's now all the way up, sorry, wrong one, it's now all the way up, um, it's on the clean channel, um, mids and whatnot are sort of, you know, halfway-ish. Sabbath, the Ioni sort of Clapton y sort of rock sort of sounds because that's what they are. So, you know, it is a basic copy of the, the original Range Master. What you are getting is an original Range Master with a few modern sort of uh, additions to it. Um, they're, um, so, yeah, most of them will always refer default somewhere in their tone back to that sort of. that this makes this this little gem here is that um by altering its switching we can we can give more of a, a nasally punch we can sap the transistor if we go down even further so you get quite a sharp tone um we have found that past a certain point it doesn't really impact on the tone at all contrary to popular belief um, the guy I developed these with is, is a bit of a mogul um, regards electronics. He's been doing it since he left school, 55 years, so there's not much he doesn't know. And uh, with him, we've done a, a lot of testing early doors. This was last year. 
um, to see which components made the biggest differences within the circuit. Um, and yeah, we, we, we built the Rangemaster Warpig around it and that's what we've ended up with is something that at the end of the day I like and the public seem to like, so there we go. <laughs>